decided to use some orthoscopic uh, uh, eyepieces uh, because they have less elements than tussles and uh, I have heard that they are very good for increased contrast and clarity, especially for planetary viewings. And I bought a bother uh, planetarium uh, orthoscopic uh, eyepiece from the first light optics in the UK. So I will now go and open it. Okay, I am now opening it. I ordered it uh, two nights ago and just I received it now. So very good, quick. Okay, it has a good packaging. Let me open this first packaging. Okay, now I've opened it and this is the eyepiece. Um, well packed and one layer cardboard and um, um, polystyrene, then another bubble wrap, then another package. We come to the classic ortho, butter planter and classic ortho 10 millimeter eyepiece for one and a quarter barrel eyepiece barrels and it has this eye guard special for this uh, tape of the Bader planetarium uh, eyepiece so let's see what is inside so I'm trying to open it with one hand bring it out Okay, this is a package. There is another layer of plastic here, so completely protected, and also a silicone gel to absorb any moisture that may accidentally contaminate it. There is a cap here at the end of the eyepiece, and there is another cap here at this end of the eyepiece. And this is, I read good reviews about this 10 millimeter one. And I just wanted to try it. If it is good, I would go for other varieties of it, other um, focal lengths. This is 10 millimeter, classic ortho, butter, classic ortho, 10 millimeter. And this is the way it looks. It looks the, the call it volcanic top. So it will be coming up like a cone in the center. And as you can see, the other side of it is also like that. And if I go into this eyepiece and have a view, yes, please. So Quite fear. It has a good eye relief, it seems, unlike what I thought. Yeah, I like that. And I will test it on the tonight if it is clear on Jupiter or on the Moon or Saturn, either of which. At the moment, it looks all right. I'm just put it on a normal. Uh, probably ETX and just see how it is. I, I think there is a good contrast here. If I zoom on it, you see is a refractor I'm using. Is a sky watcher. Sky travel. 80 millimeter refractor. I see some false color, but You'll see how it is on the moon and the planets. Okay, this is the ortho classic ortho by Butter, that 10 millimeter, and I have no apostle 
10 millimeter from the sky watcher and I will try this one also just to see what's the difference and I will show you okay that's a classic ortho butter and that's the sky watcher normal plus all eyepiece so I'm putting this on the this is sky watcher telescope and let's go and see how it is I will focus it and I will show you okay that's the sky watcher I think the image in the sky watcher is better. Although in that other one it looked more contrasty. Let me just go back to it. Okay, I'm going now to the classic ortho. Mm -hmm. We got out of focus, of course. I will focus it. I think this is more contrasty. Let's agree in that. It has a better contrast can see the little hairs on the foot in this one. I'll go back to the sky watcher puzzle. Okay, that's the sky watcher. Yeah, I think that the ortho has a better contrast. Yeah, definitely I can see in the ortho much more detail. So first, at this round, uh, classic ortho for um, high power, better than the puzzle. Good, I made a good purchase in this. I was a bit worried. Okay, now I have modified my um, Meet ETX uh, uh, 125 to accept Gives a better result. Looks heavier. 